Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, I will going to talk about the float and clear property example two. Means a, this is the part two of a float and clear property basically, right? So here we will going to discuss few other example related to float and clear property, right, sir? So what is a float property? We already completed in our previous video. And what is a clear property? We already completed in our previous video. To attend this class, you must have the basic idea regarding float and clear property. Fine. So float means what? If you want to align, if you want to align your item either in a left side or in a right side, you have to use a float property. Okay. If, if this is a web page, if this is the web page. And if you have a box, if you want to display here, float left. If you want to display here, float right. Suppose this is web page. If you want to display the item like this, here, 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 and here. That means these all are float left. This is a float right. Yes or no? We already completed this type of examples in our previous video, basically. So what exactly the meaning of clear? What exactly the meaning of clear? Clear means what? It will going to cancel the effect of float. It will, it will cancel, it will cancel the effect of float. Okay, it will going to cancel the effect of the float and push the element, push the element into basically next line or something like you can say okay we'll discuss practically right fine and i hope you know basic uh, float and clear property i know basic idea you have okay fine sir so let me discuss one example so that you will get more clarity art i created two file one is html another one is your css file basically right so here what i'm going to do i will going to um, uh, create a deep called as deep dot main box Deep dot main box. Inside this, I'm going to create three more deep. Okay. So what I'm going to write uh, uh, deep. Uh, I don't require the main deep or something like it. Directly I require three deep. So deep dot id one. Okay. And one more I want a deep dot id two. Next and after that I want a deep dot deep dot id three. That's it. Fine. Yes. Now here i want to link the css something like called a style something like a style 24.css fine sir ready linking completed so now i will going to select by with the help of id okay so what i i created a how many div 3 div i created so i want to apply three color uh, to each div so i'll going to write a, i'll going to select a id one observe very carefully has id one id1 i think i apply id selector class oh i applied the class it's okay no issue so i can write a dot id1 uh, dot id1 and here what exactly i'm going to write a background color red background color red similarly dot id2 background color green similarly i will going to write dot id3 background color blue fine right and up to each div, I will going to give um, 300 pixel height and width or 200 pixel height and width. So better to select direct div and write height 200 pixel and width 200 pixel. So what we, I created three div and um, all these three, these is having uh, something like a 200 pixel height and 200 pixel width. And the color based on this red, green, blue. Okay. Let me execute this one so that you will get more clarity. Yes. Fine. We are getting the output. Yes. My first plan is what? So first I want to display that red. Then I want to display green. Then I want to display blue. That means I'm going to display side by side. I'm going to display side by side. So if you want to display side by side, what you can do? Now the thing is what key? You can apply float left to this one. Let me change the color. Float left to this one, float left to this one, float left to this one. You can write float left, float left, float left. So if you write like this, it will going to display left by left, side by side, I can say. 
So what I'll going to write? Uh, observe, observe very carefully. Observe. If I'm going to write a float left, it will going to display left side. And if I'm going to write a float left, again it will going to display at that particular left side. Means uh, the side of uh, red. Next and after that I'm going to write a float uh, left. So everything it will going to display slide by side. No issues. Yes. Sir, why you are writing float left, float left, float left three times? So instead of writing three times, you are applying to all the dips now. Better to write it here. Why not? Why not? Right. So you can write a float left directly. You will get same output or different output. You will get same output. But my plan is a bit different. Okay. So this dip I want to display here. So what exactly I will going to do? I will going to apply. Uh, float right to this particular deep. So float right. Now ready? That's it. See, this thing you have to write in your note copy basically, right? Now mm, I will going to write a float right to this one also. Then what will happen? Tell me. Now first, oh uh, yeah, in a right side, which one will come first, green or uh, blue? So it will come like this fast from right. I'm saying key from right to which one will come green or blue green will come then blue will come. Yes, green will come then blue will come. Why? Because first time float right to first we are applying float right to green. Then we are applying float right to blue. Okay. Hope it is clear. So float left you can write otherwise you can write nothing. So any doubt with this code? We are getting this one, no issues. Okay. So my uh, thing is what I'm going to comment it. If I'm going to comment it, everything by default will come left, left, left. Okay. So I want to display this one here. I want to display this one here. So what exactly I will going to write? So I want to cancel the float effect. What I'm saying ki, I applied the float effect. Yes. So that's why I have to cancel it. I have to cancel the float effect means I have to clear it. I have to clear it. So here I'll going to write a clear property clear. So which float property applied value means a left or right left. So I'll going to write a clear left clear left. Okay. Now where oh, one minute. Yeah. So clear left. I'll going to apply to blue color deep. Have a look once. Have a look once clear. Oh, not working. Yes, clear left. See, ready, ready, ready. So if I write clear left means it cannot present at the left side of any floated element. It cannot present or it cannot appear uh, left side of any floated element. So you are applying float left. You have to write a clear left. Okay. So. If I will write uh, clear right, then what will happen? It will present, uh, it will going to give you the similar output as previous. Why? Because clear right means it can be appear, it can be appear uh, the side of uh, right side of, it can be appear with the left side floatal element. Okay. So that means what I'm saying, ki observe very carefully. If you are applying float, float left, uh, so try to write a clear left. If you are applying float right, try to write a clear right. Okay. So fine. Sir, when we're going to use both, we'll discuss. Is it clear? So clear right, though. If we'll write clear right, it will be problem. So you have to use a clear left. So if we'll write clear left, it will simply clear. Okay. Fine. Uh, that is clear cut information, sir. Uh, you have to write this is an example. I'll going to do one more modification. That is what. Instead of left, I'll going to write right. I'll going to write right. So if I'm going to write right means uh, all the element will going to display in a right. So that means a float right to first of all apply to red color, then to blue color, green color, then to blue color. That means in the right side, first red will come, then green will come, then blue will come. Have a look once. Yes, red, blue, red, green, blue is coming. But I want to display this. Uh, I want to cancel. I want to cancel the effect of. Um, something like a um, blue blue deep that means i don't want to display blue deep here i want to display in the next line i want to display in the next line so what i'm going to do clear right or clear left clear right 
clear right algorithm right okay so yes clear right that's it if you'll write clear light it will go don't think it don't think it will going to display here no 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 it will start from right okay so clear right means it will going to display here is it clear is it clear again sir i want to display here so you can write a float left ready getting now getting now observe carefully so float left will apply to red sorry float right will apply to red so that means in a right side which one will come red color then green also in a right side means fast left then green then id3 means a blue color blue color clear right clear right means it will going to uh, something like a, it will go it will cancel it will cancel means it will come to next line in a next line where it will going to display at right side at a right side so if you apply float left it will going to come to left side getting na getting na it is not that much easy concept okay so if i'm going to remove this one it will going to display at right side it will going to display at the right side that is clear cut information basically okay na fine yes so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this one also now everything will going to display here everything will going to display like this like this now what i'm going to do so i'll go instead of right i'll going to write left instead of right i'll going to write a left so you are doing lot of permutation combination you are using different different value yes you have to take some time you have to watch it two three four times you have to write the notes you have to practice parallel and everything i am doing in a single program okay single code you have to do the separately and it will take time right so that's it fine everything is a ledger 